Welcome to Content with Character, the weekly podcast that'll give you the momentum you need to create content with more ease, clarity, and laughter. I'm your host, content copywriter Emily Aborn, and I'm all about unconventional marketing approaches. I believe in your big ideas, and I'm excited to help you share them in a way that's distinctly you. My favorite thing in life and what I spend most of my time trying to achieve is a sense of certainty and understanding of exactly what is going to happen next. I love knowing what's coming down the pike so I can plan, prepare, get excited, and in some cases, brace for it. I got the news flash uh, like five years ago, though, that we can't actually know. Life is full of unexpected surprises, but we can still predict, hope, and then plan to do our very best no matter what comes our way. Today, we're going to have some fun with my fortune telling skills as I share my 2020 for content predictions. Hello, welcome back. It's come to my recent attention that I gush over you a lot, my dear listener, my dear friend. I tell you how great you are, how glad I am that you're here and that you listen and you keep on coming back for more. And you know what? I'm not going to stop anytime soon because I do actually think you're great. I am so glad you're here. I am And I am so grateful that you keep on coming back. So until further notice, I shall continue to begin my episodes by telling you how nice it is for us to be together again. I feel like we should start all of our conversations off that way with our friends, just like a quick little uh, gushing session, right? Um, Okay, I'm going to do the housekeeping part of this episode right away today and then get into the topic of the day, which is going to be, in my personally completely unbiased opinion, so much fun. I can hardly wait, which is why I want to get this housekeeping out of the way. And I know that you probably do as well. So first off, if this is your first time listening, welcome here. Everything I said at the beginning about how great you are, that applies to you as a newcomer as well. If we have not met yet, or if we have and your memory got beamed up by aliens, allow me to introduce myself I am Emily Aborn, a content copywriter, podcast host of this podcast, probably guessed that by now, uh, as well as the She Built This podcast. And when I'm not sitting alone in my office writing for my clients, websites, or blogs, or behind this here microphone, I'm usually found cleaning my house uh, or trying to get every last kernel of corn to pop when making popcorn or walking a friend and our dogs or reading. If you want to learn more about me and also how I help people, um, if you think that you could really use some help with your content and copy, especially after you get through today's episode, visit my website at emilyaborn.com. And all of the links I mention in these episodes, as well as detailed show notes, will be in the show notes. So my goal in doing that is I really don't want you to have to jot down anything or remember anything. I just want it to all be in one little handy place waiting for you to choose your own adventure before, after, or during you listen. You listen, you know what I meant, before, during, or after the episode. Okay, so today we're going to get into my predictions for content, marketing, and visibility in 2024. Now, this is not an original idea. I got this idea from my friend Alicia Galati of the Listeners to Leads podcast. Alicia runs a full-service podcast podcast production company, Galati Media, and her a recent episode that she did on Listeners to Leads was on her predictions for podcast content in 2024, basically for podcasters in 2024. Now, Alicia is brilliant at what she does. She knows a thing or two about podcasting and for sure has her finger on the pulse of the podcasting industry. So I would definitely recommend if you are a podcaster or if you think you might want to be starting a podcast in the new year, uh, check that episode and all of Alicia's episodes of her Listeners to Leads podcast out. And that link will also be in the show notes. As aforementioned, mentioned, all the links are in the show notes. So when I heard Alicia's episode, I said to myself, oh my gosh, I love this concept. And then I sent her a little message on Voxer right away. And I was like, Alicia, I love this. Can I do one for content and marketing and visibility? I will definitely let everyone know that I copied you. And Alicia said, yes, please go for it. I would love that. So before I get into my predictions, I wanted to say uh, two quick things kind of about Alicia's episode and how it ties in. Um, So first, I just kind of want to share with you the five things that she shared in her episode, because I think that they apply to most all forms of content. I'm not going to go into detail in them here, 
be uh, here because I want you to go listen to her episode. So number one, evergreen content will reign supreme. Number two, video is the future of podcast marketing. Number three, bold and thought-provoking content wins. Number four, information is abundant. Be selective. Number five, listeners, uh, parentheses, people over downloads, numbers. So listeners over downloads, people over numbers. You have to definitely listen to her episode if you want to get into each of those in more detail because she does a great job uh, going more in depth and explaining what they mean. Now, Alicia is a great predictor. I remember listening to her episode of her predictions for 2023 and like most of them came true. <laughs> My confession to you is that I'm not actually sure how good of a predictor I am. I'm not like a psychic, okay? I'm, I don't claim to be a psychic. So don't take these as like the end all be all. But here's what I do know. A lot of my predictions are going to be things that even if they don't go exactly as anticipated, you'll be able to use these in planning for your new year, in sharing content in the new year, in your visibility efforts in the new year, you'll be able to still use them. They're like evergreen concepts, okay? So you'll be able to use them to do your very best and roll with the punches. So that's my that's my style of predictions, uh, Emily Aborn's adaptable predictions. I mean, I think that's what all predictions are meant to do is be adaptable and open to interpretation. So anyway, okay. I just wanted to make sure to give you that disclaimer. All right, let's get into my predictions for 2024. And I have five main ones for you. And then I have some like mini predictions that we'll, we'll use to wrap it all up. So prediction number one, now is the time to repurpose and reuse. People love to pretend that long form content is boring. Long form content has gone the way of the semicolon. People don't have time anymore for long form content. But listen, I mean, you're listening to this episode, aren't you? This is a form of long form content. Now, fortunately for you, uh, I am no Andrew Huberman, and I'm not going to make you stay and listen for two to three hours. But you can take a page out of Andrew Huberman's book or any of those podcasters that do two to three hour episodes. And remember that if the content is good, people do stick around for the entire two to three hours. So it's about content quality, not length of content, meaning long form content is not dead. Um, and it comes in many, many different forms. Long form content could be a podcast, video content, a course, a blog, emails, workshops, so a long social media post, like you can see it everywhere you turn. It's not dead. It's alive and well. So here's what I want to encourage you in. In the new year, more than ever, I think it is important to to not make a piece of long form content the only content that you're creating. You, the key is to repurpose it and make it something new. Make it more. Make it go further faster, as I always say. Now, notice when I said, I said, make it something new, I did not say cut and paste. I want you to repurpose. Repurpose means to make new, spruce up and repackage. This usually ends up actually saving us a ton of time in the long run because instead of thinking about all of these different pieces of content, all of these various things that we need to create, we can focus on just sitting down, creating one really good quality long form piece of content and then thinking strategically about how we want to repurpose it, how we want to break it down into more, how we want to turn it into new things. Now, I'm actually going to be, uh, stay tuned, because I'm going to be offering a new service around this in the new year. But I love long form content personally. Like I think it is such, without it, it's really hard to learn comprehensively. Without it, it's really hard to use storytelling. It's it's necessary to increase traffic to our websites. Like I'm thinking like SEO focused blogs and, and even the word count you have to have on different pages on your website. So here's another super little fun thing for you. There's a whole lot of content. I bet that you shared this past year that long form or short form uh, that people have not even discovered yet. So I would encourage you, now is the time to bring it back to life. Now is the time to dust it off, repurpose it, bring some attention to it, reshare it. You can even use it in the exact same way, but let me challenge you a step further. 
How can you take the thing and give it some fresh life and some fresh energy? I mean, for me, this sounds like a day at the beach. This sounds super, super fun. I will definitely be doing that. Yes, please. Thank you. One of my personal focuses this year is not to reinvent the wheel. So whether that looks like pulling stuff from the past and giving it fresh life or repurposing something in different ways to make my life easier when I sit down and create it the first time, my goal is really not to constantly just be creating flashier, brighter, because that's what everybody else around me is doing. I want to make what I already have sparkle and shine and impactful. Remember, it's about quality, not length. Quality, not quantity. So I have a lot more thoughts on this particular topic, but I'm going to save that for the months ahead. And one thing I kind of got as an idea in even sharing this prediction, even sharing the prediction about now is the time to repurpose and reuse, I said, okay, this is a little bit meta and I'm going to pass it on to you. Every prediction I share in this episode is a great example of how I could turn it into something more. So every single prediction I share in this episode, I probably will take and turn into an episode in and of itself. That's what I mean about repurposing. Now you could do that with whatever you're sharing. It could be a blog. It could be a series of social media posts. It could be a podcast episode. The list goes on and on and on. The possibilities are endless. Prediction number one, now is the time, 2024 is the time to repurpose and reuse. This leads me to prediction number two, which supports that, and that is you will stand out by being consistent. Now, I'm not talking about being consistent in all the places. I am talking about consistently engaging and creating deeper engagement with your community. So showing up on a regular basis for the people that are in your world. And I'm, this is like regular posting or sharing or creating or connecting. Remember when I say regular, regular is subjective. It doesn't actually translate to every day. It doesn't actually translate to once a week. It could, but it doesn't need to. It could be an infrequent consistency. Thank you to my friend, Lisa Zerotny for that expression. But basically it means that you do what, you're, what you say you're going to do. So I recently heard someone else share in a podcast episode something I found a little controversial. She said, your clients are not choosing you because you send out a weekly email. Your clients are not choosing you because you do a weekly podcast. And I was a little fascinated by that. I said, hmm, I'm not sure because I agree that's not the only reason they're choosing you, okay? Not a, not by a long shot. I mean, look at you. You're awesome. But I will say this. When I'm on someone's email list and they are noticeably consistent, especially let's say they announce the consistency when you sign up for the email. So they might say, you're going to get my weekly email that tells you blah, blah, blah. And then they don't ever email me except when they want my money or when they decide that they're not going to go dark anymore. Now, this actually, and I would imagine it does this in other brains as well, I cannot be the only one, but this actually makes me trust them way less. It makes me trust them less to be able to be present for me and be organized in their approach and have their act together more than I do. Now, I hate to say this, but I do believe that is true. And I am not suggesting you need to send out an email every week. I am saying when you commit to a consistency that feels good to you stick when you when you decide on a frequency that feels good to you send it out at that frequency and show up consistently as such now that is going to look different depending on what activity we're talking about what platform it is uh but i do believe that consistency will set you apart and help you stand out People in the real world, it is it is wild. They often say to me, oh my God, I see you everywhere online. And I'm like, no, you don't. Like the truth is they don't. I'm actually really only in two places online uh, sharing about my business and that is LinkedIn and Instagram. And to be honest, I post infrequently, I would say, is what, what I want to be doing. I post infrequently on both of those platforms, more so on Instagram. But honestly, it's mostly just like my dog, the latest puzzle I'm doing, a pair of socks I'm wearing. Like 
about my business, I post infrequently. Now, I personally like to think that what people are noticing is actually my consistency around it. And I just want to go back to, I do think that consistency is a really good way to help you stand out. It helps you to be set apart. It's also a really good way for you to uphold promises that you make to yourself. So if you say in the new year, I am going to commit to emailing my list once a week, and then you don't do that, you're breaking a promise to yourself. Now, you may have a multitude of reasons, and I would encourage you to get like really clear on A, why you chose the consistency that you did, but also, can you fulfill that promise to yourself. I also love consistency for the reason that it helps you to make step-by-step progress towards your goals, which between you and me, that is like the only way to achieve what we're going after, like step by step, day by day, habit by habit. Rome didn't get built in a day. It got built block by block by block, day in after day out, rain, sun, probably some mosquito bites, block by block. So, In the new year, consistency will help you stand out and be set apart. Prediction number two. Okay, prediction number three. It's about the people, people. Now, this one plays off Alicia's listeners over downloads or people over numbers. And I think I 100% just echo what she says. More than ever, we want true connection. We want to feel seen, heard, understood, related to. We want value in what we're listening to and what we're uh, taking in. So don't worry if your audience, your community, your followers, your email list, don't worry if it's not massive or it's not you know, where you want it to be numbers wise, focus on the people that you have. Focus on the people that are in front of you. Focus on going deeper with them, being more specialized and specific in how you speak to them and speak to them like it's just one person because on the other side, it is just one person. And that is how you build a business block by block, one person, one by one. So let's not forget them. Let's not forget who we are doing this for and why. Prediction number three, it's about the people. Prediction number four, storytelling is still king. Uh, I want to actually even add to this to include an element of Alicia's as well. I want to bring in part of hers and like couple them together. Alicia's idea was that bold and thought provoking content wins. And I've also read and been like um, hearing that taking a stand, highlighting sustainability, ethics, values, social responsibility, that's going to reign true. So with that, I want to add in storytelling because I do think that all of these things are ways of showing people you, what matters to you, the heartbeat of the person running the business. And I I, I am going to do an entire episode, maybe a couple of episodes on like sharing your personality, sharing within different personality types, but um, your stories why you do what you do, your perspectives, your opinions, your insights, that's where I would just love you to put a lot of your focus on in the new year. Not for nothing, AI does not really have many stories of its own, at least not yet, and at least not ones that involve uh, your lived experience and like that unique set of DNA. So please share from your one in eight billion heart and share your one in eight billion stories. Make this the year that you decide to tell your stories and see where it takes you. And in conjunction with this, I, I want to encourage us all to stand up for what we believe when it's important to you and when it makes sense for you. So with that, I would also say it goes hand in hand with who we decide to connect with, who we decide to collaborate with, meaning connect and collaborate with people who are similarly minded or who share, you know what, actually not necessarily similarly minded, uh, but who share the same values as you, who really you can partner together to make a change, to make a difference. You might feel might feel kind of like as we come to the end of this year that the world has been a little bit splitting apart. Um, I think at the same time, we're also being really, really drawn to coming together with people who are aligned to make a difference in powerful ways. So prediction number four, uh, storytelling is still king. And I'm going to bring in Alicia's on that too and just say bold and thought-provoking content wins. Okay, prediction number five, and then I'll give you my 
mini predictions. Prediction number five is clarity is of utmost importance. You have to be clear in your offerings. You have to be clear about what you do, who you do it for, how you do it. People are moving very fast. You may have noticed very, very fast. And misunderstanding is everywhere. I mean, just the other day, actually, someone tagged me in a post from, from for somebody looking for a social media manager. And I was like, I am not a social media manager. <laughs> I feel like this is very clear. So sometimes, obviously, it's not our fault. Like people are still going to misunderstand us and not paying attention to what we do, even if we tell them over and over and over again. But sometimes it is a matter of uh, how we're sharing our message, how we're sharing what we do and who we do it for. My friend Karen Kenny is always saying something along the lines of, I'm not going to get this exactly right, but basically the fastest way to get her not to take action is to confuse her. And I would 100% just echo and agree with that. And full transparency, I always have room to improve in this area from my website to my social media to this podcast, which means I think that you might too. So I prediction number five, clarity is going to be of the utmost importance. And this is also really good news for you. Because the more clear you get, the simpler things are going to be for you. The more streamlined things can be for you. The more cohesive that every single thing that you share is, and you will have more confidence and gain more confidence as a result. So clarity is really a win-win. Um, okay, now we're going to laser through my mini predictions. These aren't really predictions. They're more like this is what's happening at the very moment. So if you didn't predict them last year, here they are. Okay, number one is don't put all your weight in content and marketing. Don't have like these amazing marketing efforts, but then fail in the follow through and the delivery. You also need to be focused on and offering impeccable, great customer service, great customer experience. In 2024, that's going to be even more important than it was in 2023. And guess how important it was in 2023? Well, it was even more important than it was in 2022. It keeps getting more important. The more noise that is out out there. So stand out uh, by giving great customer experience. Be the one that they want to work with, the one that they want in their home painting their ceilings, the one who they trust to make them feel like a million bucks. Mini prediction number two, AI is here to stay. So let's just get friendly with it. Look, I, I have hated on AI and chat GPT and all of those things. Didn't matter. It still didn't go away. But the truth is, and lots of people are saying this, like the New York Times, so I didn't actually even make this up. Don't worry. Uh, these tools are can't do it all. And they don't have the personality that you have, that we have. We can embrace the tools, we can accept them, and we can use them as friends instead of treating them like foes. And we can also realize and kind of like rest in and settle in that they do have limitations. We still need the humans at this juncture. <laughs> um, example, I had a client recently tell me she uses ChatGPT to find all of her keywords for her. And I was like, Okay, let's back up here. Chat GPT for sure can give you ideas for SEO keywords, but uh, that's about it. That's about it. It just gets you started and gives you ideas. You actually need to take yourself as a human and do a little bit more research beyond that. And it's the same for anything. You need a human to take it home in most cases. They're great tools. Um, be nice to them because otherwise they'll probably beam up our memories or something like that someday. But you do need to remember that we, we still need us to humanize them. So recognize their limitations. Content standards are high. Be intentional. Be human. And also lean on the tools that exist. Mini prediction number three, email is standing strong. Don't give up on emails. And don't think that when you hear people say they quote unquote hate email, it applies to everyone. It probably doesn't even apply to them. They just feel like that in that moment. I assure you, my open rates and response rates have not budged. So email is standing strong. Uh, mini prediction number four, social media and podcast platforms are also being used and will ramp up on those efforts even more. They're also being used as search engines, which is why SEO research and keywords are going to keep on on being more and more important. <laughs> so call me if you need help on that on that front. 
You know what else I predict? I predict that you are going to be more awesome than ever. And I think that you're going to feel inspired to tell other people what makes you so awesome. And you know why I predict that? Because I predict that you're going to keep on listening to the content with character episode in the new year. And I'm going to help you do that. So I'm not going to go over the mini predictions again, because like I said, those are just like reminders, reassurances, kind of what's already happening. But my predictions for 2024 are... 2024 is the time to repurpose and reuse. You, number two, you will stand out by being consistent. Number three, it's about the people. Number four, storytelling is still king. And number five, clarity will be of utmost importance. And what I definitely, definitely predict to the point that I can all but guarantee it is that I'm going to keep on being here for you, keep on getting into more fun content with character topics, including personality and character and what it really means to be you. And I do predict that you're going to want to stick around for the show in the new year. So let me just leave you with that. Um, Okay, if you want to kind of go through these individually with me. So like if you're listening to these and you're like, oh, I wonder how this applies for me. I do have a special little offer that I would love to just throw out there for you. So I don't usually do deals on things. Uh, I can't actually tell you the last time I did. But right now, I'm so excited for my strategy sessions because I'm watching people just get like these amazing, amazing results on anything from like editing together, you know, refining language, refining wording, uh, finding their brand voice, coming up with an entire content strategy, helping them to visualize that repurposing any for sure any one of the five things that I talked about in this episode, but the possibilities are endless. And I'm not saying that hyperbolically. It is true. There are so many possibilities for my strategy sessions. I have so much fun with them. People get so much value out of them. So I decided to myself that I was going to offer a little deal through the end of the year. So up until December 31st, 2023, it is buy four, get one free on my content strategy sessions, meaning that you're going to buy four and you're actually going to get five, which is a super, that's $225 savings. And basically that gives you the opportunity, we could sit down before the year is over together and then we're going to get four more checkpoints in the new year. You could also give one to a friend if you wanted. You could also uh, do all five in the new year if you wanted. I don't care how you want to how you want to split it. Um, there's no stipulations except that I only have 10 spots. That's the stipulation. So you have to be one of the first 10 people. There's going to be a link to that in the show notes. I would love to have you take me up on it. And just so you know where we're going next week, we're going to round out the year with three things holding you back in your content creation. What that really translates to are three things I really want you to safely just let go of moving forward. So I can't wait to chat with you next week. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Content with Character. If you loved the episode, please make sure to subscribe to the podcast, rate, review, and share it with someone else you know it could help. For more content and visibility tips, visit my blog at emilyaborn.com. And be sure to connect with me on Instagram at emilyaborn. I'd love to hear how this inspired you to take action.